Welcome to eMedia Podcast, Emmanuel Church's very own podcast platform. Here, you'll find our latest sermon series and our weekly podcast show episodes based on a variety of topics impacting us here on Delmarva and around the world. Every single week, together, we'll unpack those topics, ranging from the fun and lighthearted stuff to even the more serious discussions. But we'll use the Word of God as our guide. Be sure you're following us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Also, download the Emmanuel Church app so you're staying up to date with all that's happening here at Emmanuel Church. Now, here's our latest episode from the eMedia Podcast. Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Devos with Pastor D. Hey, today on this episode, I would like to talk to you about exhausted emotions. Yes, I said it. Exhausted emotions. I feel like so many people are there right now. You're exhausted. Uh, maybe you're exhausted because you haven't got any sleep. Uh, or maybe you're exhausted because you're just simply tired of dealing with a particular situation uh, in your walk with God, or you're just, um, you're just simply worn out. And how many of you know that your emotions, man, they can come and go and sometimes they're all over the place. And I feel like uh, today I need to just express and talk a little bit about how concerning that could be when it comes to our relationship with God. I'm looking at a scripture in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11, that says, When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, and I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. Ever been around a child, maybe some of you have kids and they throw a bad temper tantrum and they're just, you know, when they don't get a nap, they're tired, they're whining, they're throwing a temper tantrum. I feel like so many of us, that's where we're at right now. If we could just be completely real and honest on this podcast, if I could with you um, and, and just saying that, you know, we, we want to follow God, right? We, we don't understand why we're not hearing from him or why we're developing in our spiritual life. And it could be because we have an immature inside, an inner life that is not developed. And the reason why is because of our emotions. Now, we, um, Paul is telling us in this letter to the Church of Corinth, he's saying, look, he's expressing how to um, receive love and how to give love. But he's also concerned because there's some childish behavior, some childish things that's taken place. And he's saying, look, you know, um, there's a lot of dysfunction um, some of us have some dysfunctional systems, some things uh, maybe from your childhood, things from hurt or whatever the case may be, and you've allowed it to control your emotions to the point where you're acting childish and you're not really growing, you're not maturing in your walk with God. So Paul's concerned, and he's sitting there right up front. He's saying, look, I'm concerned about these things. And he wants us to know that um, the way we think the way we speak and the way we understand all three things tie together. And so we might look good on the outside, right? We might come to church, you know, in our best clothes and, and raise our hands and worship. But the reality is a lot of us have not dealt with some things on the inside, uh, some hurt, some pain, some childish things that we're still holding on to. And we can never mature or be completely obedient and grow in our walk with God until we learn uh, how to identify those things. And I thought this was good to bring out because I think a lot of times we don't realize it, right? We don't, you know, because if we don't feel like doing something, then we, some of us, you know, if we just feel like, hey, our emotion is if we don't feel like doing something, then we just don't do it. And you can't tell me what to do, Pastor Dana. I can do what I want whenever I want. But what would happen if we kind of started to uh, <laughs> grow up a little bit with some of our childish things and, and learn to correct that, learn to regroup and say, hey, God, I uh, would like you to take anything that is making me act childish or I want you to grab a hold of these exhausted emotions so that I can grow in my relationship with you. So I wanted to look at a couple things today that can help you in your relationship with God. And this is this, you cannot heal it if you don't own it, you cannot heal. You can't get the healing you need from these emotions, from these things that uh, is keeping you from growing with Christ unless you own it, meaning you got to admit it. And that's hard, right? We, we don't like to admit when we're wrong. We don't like to, um, it, you know, we don't like to, to realize that maybe we need to change. Uh, we don't like to, um, 
we just simply don't like to own up. <laughs> and so uh, I want you to know today that if you want to heal, if you want to get rid of these childish things, then uh, you've got to own it. You've got to admit it. The next thing is, if you don't put it away, it will put you away. If you don't put it away, it will put you away. Some of us um, can, can't shake things off because we've told ourselves lies our whole entire life. Um, I think about the man in the pool of Bethesda. You know, he laid there for 38 years, right? And, um, you know, a lot of it was lies that he believed, lies that he told himself. I mean, you know, he could have scooted a little bit every day to the point where he, he could have eventually got in that pool, right? But excuses kept him there. And I wonder what's, what's keeping you where you're at today? What's keeping you with your, your exhausted emotions? What's keeping you there? And so we've got to put it away. We've got to shake it off. But a lot of times what we do is instead of doing that, we try to play the blame game. We try to blame other people. But today I encourage you to own up to it. The only way that you can heal, the only thing is, is to be able to put it away and let it go. The next thing is um, the way you understand determines your expected end. Okay, so we, we talked about how what you think, what you speak, and what you understand, all three of these things go together. So I wonder, what are you understanding, right? Meaning, what are you looking at? What, what are you focusing on? Because that's going to determine your end. That's going to place you where you need to be. So if you don't have the right thoughts, if you don't have the right understanding, if you're not close or trying to understand what God is trying to tell you in your walk with God, then you're not going to get to the end where he wants you to be, meaning end meaning the goal, the place where he has you to be. And so I want to encourage you today, stop believing lies that the enemy is telling you. Stop believing lies based off of your childhood or based off of your past. God wants to do a new thing. He's saying, look, you got to put away these childish things before you can become a man, before you can come a woman in my eyes and grow in me and walk with me. And isn't that what he wants? He wants us to have a great close relationship with him. So whatever exhausted emotion that you have today, shake it off, admit to it and ask God for help because he wants to help take us to a place in our walk with him um, that we, we, we can't even, right, we can't even in our mind comprehend it, but in God's mind, he has something great. So maybe during the prayer time of the 21 days of prayer, maybe that's something you can pray for that God would get rid of any exhausted emotions, any emotions that are there that shouldn't be there. Let's pray today. Father, I thank you for who you are. And today, God, as we talk about emotions, <laughs> Lord, we know that sometimes we hold on to things. Sometimes there's some childish things in our way, in our walk with you. God, we can't be obedient to you until we learn how to grow in you. So today, Lord, we admit to the things that we're doing. Maybe it's uh, our attitudes. Maybe it's the way our, our temper is. Whatever the case may be, God, we pray you would clear it and you would get rid of it. Because, Lord, we want to have a clear understanding of who you are, a clear understanding of how you want us to develop and become. And we love you today, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in for this episode of Devos with Pastor D. I'll see you next week.